wild film, uh, <laughs> to put it lightly. Um, Rachel, I'll start with you. When a script like I Love My Dad comes across your table, what is your initial reaction to reading it? Well, I was really interested in it, not even as like an actor, like what's my part, but I was just like, this story's crazy. Like this is real, what? And then I got immediately captured into it. And then um, my part, I just thought was really fun. Like I love the idea of working with Patton and like I've worked with him before. And like that line between comedy and drama sort of was appealing to me because you know, I love doing more broad comedy, but this is, it's kind of fun to stretch a little and do something a little more grounded. So it's just a character that's in a real position, but what's the funny here? And how do you like walk that line and show that it's funny? So that was what it appealed to me. So James, given that uh, the title card tells us that this is based on real life, real events, I mean, what was it like for you putting together this story, you know, in the script and the directing and all of that? What was that like for you? It was an incredible experience. I mean, uh, being able, I, the thing that appealed to me about telling the story was to try to understand what my dad was thinking when he created this profile and all of the steps he would have to go through in order to justify that to himself. And it's ultimately a story about someone doing something wrong, but for the right reasons, something that all of us have found ourselves uh, doing at some point or another in our lives. And I, I just love stories where uh, we're exploring a perspective that from the outside would seem crazy or horrible, but from, but, but building empathy toward uh, behavior that from the outside seems unusual. So uh, you have obviously directed shorts before, but uh, was this written when you were writing this, did you have in mind that you were the one that wanted to direct it uh, for your debut? So I had made a, a micro budget feature prior to this called three something. Uh, and since I was younger, I've always wanted to be directing films. My dad and I actually, you know, would go to the movie theater every weekend and uh, I've, I have actors in my family and whatnot. And so I, I, it's, it's always been something that I've wanted to do. And so, yeah, I, I, it was important to me to, to direct this one and to be able to tell a story that uh, felt very much me and, and, was was something that I would want to go see. So Rachel, uh, you mentioned uh, having worked with Patton before, but what was it like for you reuniting with him for for this specific relationship that you two have in this film? Well, we've played a couple before on King of Queens back in the day. Uh, <laughs> that was way more sitcom-y. Um, I mean, like to me, you know, I have a pretty small part in this, and so this is like Patton's thing, so. You know, you're just trying to serve the story, really. But it's it was fun watching. Like the the thing where he's telling me what to say on the phone was really fun. Um, and how frantic he was getting. Like it, sometimes it's just fun to like like you're in the scene, but you're also like like laughing at what the person's doing on the inside. So I guess I was kind of doing. That. <laughs> now, uh, did James here allow you guys the opportunity to improv at all during uh, your scenes together? Um, I don't really remember. Like, not that he didn't allow, but I think sometimes, like, if something's really broad or, like, a comedy, then then improvising is kind of welcome or it feels more organic. But something that's, like, this carefully scripted, like, I mean, I've written things, too, and I know how, like, you, like, pick this word over that word. So, like, I didn't want to mess with it. I don't remember a lot of improv or even wanting to improv because I felt like it's all right there, you know? Yeah, totally. Um, and so, James, uh, what was it like for you then figuring out who to to play your dad for this film because I mean there's so many great actors that have played dads in cinema throughout the years I've been a fan of Patton Oswalt's for as long as I can remember and I, I think he has a unique ability to blend light and dark and and bring a lot of levity to to sometimes heavy subjects and you know what I think the guy's a comedic genius but I also think he's somebody with tremendous heart and a very collaborative spirit. Uh, and so I, I knew that he was going to be the perfect person for this role and, and would be it would be a, an exciting collaboration through the entirety. So what was it like for you then uh, developing uh, your rapport with him off camera for that father son relationship before filming began? So, you know, Pat and I are both 
obsessed with movies. And so he and I would watch a lot of movies together. Uh, we were constantly talking about movies and uh, that was our way of kind of finding this together and, and seeing it from a similar lens is uh, that that is something that we both are, love and are obsessed with. And um, so, yeah, I mean, that, that was a large part of it. Well, uh, I'm glad that this film came together the way it did. Uh, I think everybody's great in it. And it's as weird and wild as it is, it's got a great message at the heart of it. So uh, I can't wait to spread the word. Thank you both so much for taking the time Thank to you. chat. Thanks so much, Grant. Thanks.